when our children are going to school. He is this slave younger in bondage making bricks. When a father should be spending time with his children, he is this slave man tied up in a dark room, crying. His full family has been taken away from him for hard labor. We love to see our children playing with toys. When the hands of this slave young girl of the same age are in mud together, let's wipe the tears of all these women. We must pay their debt and free them from slavery. Brother and sister, this is Apostle Parfait. Actually, I'm in Pakistan doing the work of God as a missionary, preaching the gospel, the, the good news of Jesus Christ. But also we have another issue in Pakistan. We have Christians who are slaves, uh, forced to hard labor. They're really living in bondage. Because of a loan they took and they cannot pay. So some of them, actually, their parents took this loan. Their grandparents took this loan, but they cannot pay. It's very complicated for them. So what they have to do is the bricket owner actually owns them and they are working 14 hours a day, seven days a week in hard labor. Look at all these bricks you see here. They are the one making all this, all this. And most of them, brothers and sisters, they are Christian. They are Christian brothers. See, the image of our Lord, he paid for us. Let's pay just maybe $1,000, $2,000, just to set them free also. I know a lot of people are asking, but if you do this, trust me that the name of God will be glorified because we will set this family free. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for what you're gonna do. And let the hands of the Lord manifest his fullness of blessing over your life, over your family, in everything you do. I need freedom. I have been told that I have to say that I have to say that I have to All this is just mud, 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 mud. Their hands in the mud. This man, full hands, are in the mud. We need to free him. It's just for a loan he took, he cannot pay. That's why he's being a, in this hard labor, working like a slave. Actually, he's a slave. Slave of the brick, bricking owner. So, uh, all this you see here, brother and sister, look at this. Just mud, all his life, mud. Let help him, brother and sister, and bring joy to his life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Brother and sister, this is Arfan. Has been working here actually since he's young. Now he's sick. He has his two kidney have a problem, actually kidney failure. But he's still doing this because actually the owner will not set him free if he doesn't pay his, what he he owes to him. So Arfan, come on. So what do you want to say to these people? I was born and 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 I Brother and sister, see I was telling you this man has kidney failure. Look at the attempt, as they attempted to uh, kind of uh, uh, operate. You know, he went through surger surgeries. So uh, you can see here, here, all over here. These are the ma the mark, like the wound, and uh, on 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 his skin. So please, please, brother and sister, I request of you to help this man, not only to free him, 
but to give him a business, um, you know, a good business so he can take care of his uh, family. He has daughters, he's married. Please, brothers and sister, this is a case for you. God bless you all. Thank you. Let's break the chain of slavery in Pakistan, brother and sister, in the name of Jesus.